wearable technology. It's a quite distinct area of the whole Internet of Things revolution that we hear so much about in the news these days. And it's also very uh, understandable and accessible to uh, pupils of this age, I think. Um, the, perhaps the most famous piece of wearable technology that everyone would have heard of is the Apple Watch. We're a company that's involved in the most up-to-date technology and there are lots of developments in this area all the time. Our experience was that in adult engineers, when we launched a design challenge about wearable technology, that was the one that attracted the greatest level of participation from women engineers. And therefore we felt that was a great place to start with school children as well because we really wanted to make sure that the challenge would be attractive both to boys and girls uh, and stimulate their interest in science and technology. So basically you'll set the code off and each individual light will flash and when the light flashes you need to tap it. It also can be extended to the back like shown on that one. As you can see Anna's not holding on yet so it's sending an alert to the teacher who'll be holding this and it'll show the teacher that one child's either missing, injured or something's happened to them. In 2015, as part of our involvement with the Make the Grade programme, we ran a wearable technology competition for the first time. So we kicked off the programme last year using one type of technology that about six schools worked on. And this year we managed to grow the programme to ten schools using a new piece of technology, the code bug, and we've donated that to the schools to enable them to take part in this competition. There are lots of devices coming onto the market um, and we supply a number of them, the Raspberry Pi, which many people would have heard about. But the Codebug is an even simpler uh, device for children to program. It has great online support so they're able to see how to use it and they're given assistance and support with the programming. It's interesting from being in textiles and now doing getting into technology side of things so you can learn more about the code bug and everything. I've been having a great time working with the code bug because it's really simple to use but you can do a lot with it. I got involved in this personally um, in textiles. The technology side really appealed to me. The very clothing we have can now be interconnected with us, with what we do. It will make life a lot easier. I would just like to know on how to use more electronic stuff. Like, because I'm really into the designing stuff, I'd like to know more on how the, like, the developing and the ideas of stuff. This is a whole new area, but these are people who've grown up with digital technology, so I'm sure they'll have come up with some really exciting, really innovative ideas, and I can't wait to find out more about them. In 2016, we decided to involve Leeds Beckett University. We felt there were a number of areas that the university could really contribute and enhance the programme. One was the great facilities that the university was able to offer us. And secondly, the involvement of the university's student ambassadors we thought was really helpful. Those are students either from the computing area or from product design. And the great thing about wearable technology is it bridges those disciplines and brings them together very neatly. Those students are able to go into the schools, support the teachers and the pupils with their designs and also give the pupils a great insight into university life, what can be studied at university and therefore hopefully inspire some of those to carry on their career through into higher education. Smart materials are materials that respond to a stimulus and product designers need to be aware of materials because essentially it's the tools that they use to create the product so innovation is really key. The school itself loves getting involved with anything that can help the students make decisions for what they want to do with their careers. So there's many different alternative options we can give them and university is a definite way we want to go, really push the fact that they are capable young adults that can do really well. I think this project and this challenge has really given some of them the idea that they want to go further with that. Didn't expect there were so many schools, and they were all so good as well. We're just so glad to have won it. So happy.